Hey, what is up, everybody? Matt Modai here with OddgeJam, here to give you my favorite DFS plays specifically for Thursday night football tonight. So we have Seahawks versus 49ers. I'm going to be looking at underdog and looking at prize picks for the best DFS plays specifically, like I mentioned, for Thursday night football tonight. And to use this, um, to find these plays, I should say, I will be using the OddgeJam screen to find these plays. Uh, the OddsJam screen, pretty helpful tool. It just You pick a market, in this case, NFL player passing yards, and it pulls up where every single sports book is pricing that market at. And basically what you can do, since I know I'm going to be looking for plays specifically for prize picks, you can just compare where prize picks is clearly an outlier to the rest of the sports books, right? Now, for Brock Purdy, obviously their sports books don't have odds for it except for prize picks because... He's not, even, he's not even guaranteed to start tonight. But for Geno Smith, for the player passing yards, we do see some value. So if we look at where every sports book prices it, 230, whoops, excuse me, 236, 237, 239, pretty much high 230s across the board. But then prize picks has it all the way down at 234 and a half. And then we see underdog, which is this far right column, have it at 239. So five yard gap between these two books but price picks clearly has this one mispriced compared to the rest of the betting markets. We see a couple, we see one book or two books that have him priced one yard higher at 235 and a half. But if we look at the sports books that we care the most about, which in this case is the Ajdam line pulled from Pinnacle Sportsbook, Pinnacle consistently does the best job at pricing odds. So given the heaviest weight is this Ajdam line, as is DraftKings. And they both have it at 239, matching the underdog price. So that's a five yard gap between what Prize Picks has and what the Sharp Sports Books have, like Pinnacle and DraftKings, as well as the rest of the markets, right? We even see WinBet has it all the way up at 243 and a half, nine yards higher, and WinBet favors it going over. Now, this is definitely a mispriced line by WinBet as well. Not saying we should take advantage of the win bet line, but the prize picks one is definitely a play that we should take the over based on where every other sports book has it priced. So to sum it up, uh, prize picks has it at 234 and a half. Literally every other sports book that prices odds individually has it going, has his player prop priced above this number. So pretty good price here for Geno Smith on his player passing yardage prop going over. Don't have anything on Brock Purdy, obviously nothing to compare it to. But where I do have a couple plays that I like a lot is in the receiving yards market. So I just click the little drop down, change it to player receiving yards. And then the odds that will pull up here are obviously the receiving yards for every single player. And the two plays that I really, really liked that I thought had awesome value were Christian McCaffrey over 34 and a half passing yards. This is at, this is another one on prize picks. Similar logic here, but I actually like this one a lot better. Not only is it a three yard difference between the prize picks line at 34 and a half and the odds jam line at 37 and a half, but look at where the odds jam line is favoring this. They have the over heavily favored at minus 137, the underpriced at plus 104. So basically, Pinnacle Sportsbook is telling you, hey, we think that this over under should be priced at 37 and a half, but we think that the over is the significantly more likely scenario. So we are going to heavily price the over at, because it's more likely, right? So we're gonna make it more expensive to buy. We're gonna price it higher. It's the same thing with DraftKings. They have it priced at 37 and a half. And they're, again, they're heavily favoring the over at minus 130. So we're getting this three yards lower. And obviously three yards going from 34 and a half to 37 and a half is a way bigger deal going passing yardage all the way up at 234 and a half to 239, right? Like the gap between those two numbers is more meaningful the lower the numbers are. So I like this one a lot. It's definitely definitely my favorite one of the two, the Geno Smith one and this one, the Christian McCaffrey over 34 and a half receiving yards. Another one that I really like for pretty much the same logic is Tyler Lockett to go over 60 and a half receiving yards. Tyler Lockett has been incredible. This year, I think he scored in five or six straight games with Geno Smith. Um, so Prize Picks has this at 60 and a half and two yards higher. We see Pinnacle at 62 and a half, favoring it going over. 
We also see DraftKings have it at 62 and a half, and pretty much across the board is 62 with a couple at 63, like FoxBet and like FanDuel. And then we have uh, Prize or excuse me, PointsBet having it all the way up at 65 and a half. So regardless, this 60 and a half is a pretty good outlier compared to the sports books. So the Christian McCaffrey and Tyler Lockett are my two favorite receiving yardage props, both of them going over on prize picks. And then the player passing yards, I like the Geno Smith going over 234 and a half as well. And that's going to be it for my uh, DFS plays for today. So that's three player props for you guys. All of them I really like, think have a lot of value, and that's going to be it. So if you're tailing this in a prize picks entry, comment and let me know. Other than that, appreciate you guys watching and have a good one.